Alicia Marquez Magaña, uh, Health Equity Initiative Professor of Biology in the, in the Department of Biology. So my parents are Mexican immigrants, and so I think of myself as Chicana Latina, and many people refer to me as Mexican American. I have two things that I do in my uh, research program, or two foci in my research laboratory. One is um, around bacteria, and that stems from my research as a graduate student. And as it turns out, what we're looking at in my laboratory is what um, genes get turned on in response to starvation. So when the bacteria uh, are limited for nutrients, they don't have food around, what kinds of genes do they turn on so that they can have the appropriate adaptive responses or um, survival strategies to deal with the starvation. So that's one research focus. The other research focus has more to do with my um, health equity initiative of professor title and in specific with regard to cancer disparities. And so what we're trying to understand is how um, biology or genetics might play a role in the disparities that you see with regard to cancer. What I like to enjoy most about doing research is the um, creativity and the fact that I can come up with a what I think is a really cool idea and that I'll be sitting around with a, the group of individuals in my lab and they'll think it's a really cool idea. And then to have a whole team of people who buy my idea and, or add on to it and then we all work together to try to prove or disprove it. It's really nice to be part of a team that's working to understand something, to discover something. Um, that's what I enjoy most. The reason that I wanted to be a scientist is because I wanted to have the power to change things and that I thought that I could do that through science. When I was in middle school, I was placed in the middle track, not in the college bound track, but in the middle track. When I was actually the top student in all my classes, the vice principal brought me in and she told me, you're an exception to your race, we're going to put you into the college bound track. So there was a, a number of those kinds of things where people just didn't expect so much from me and I, I just, the thing about it is that um, I'm one of those individuals who tell me you can't do something, it fires me. It makes me so mad that I just want to prove you wrong. So I think I was fortunate to have those individuals in my life that would uh, every once in a while pop up and say, you can't do it. But it just makes me work harder and it makes me just get that much more fiery and that much stronger. So the biggest difficulty in transitioning from high school to college had to do um, with uh, our, the, you know, the cultural beliefs of, of you know, being Mexican-American. My parents in Mexico, basically, you didn't leave the house as a woman until you got married. And so when I was applying to, to college, my parents wanted me to go to the junior college down the street, which was a mile away, because then I would be able to live at home. I think the biggest reason my parents didn't want me to leave was they felt that they were going to lose me. And they saw that even though I was becoming more educated, I still come home and I still interact with the family and I still loved and appreciated them. So they felt that the next step to grad school wasn't going to be that much difference. Um, I, I didn't want to apply to a PhD program because I felt like um, I didn't know any Latinas in PhD programs in the sciences. And I wanted to really give back in a really important way to my community. And so one of the, my professors, one of my mentors, Dad Woodward, actually said, well, Letty, what has been the biggest barrier to you doing well at Stanford in the sciences? And I thought about it, and I said, well, it's that the professors don't look like me. And he said, well, Letty, what if you were in front of the, the classroom? I'm really resilient. I'm like a lot of these bugs. And that was the light bulb moment where I realized that if I became a research professor and was in a class, scientific classroom, that I could be an ambassador for science to all the people that are like me, people of color, women, that sort of thing. Women, and particularly women of color, are better at team science because of the innate skills that we bring to the table. Because we've had to compromise, we've had to negotiate, we've had to figure out obstacles and systems and how to get around them. And so diversity equals survival, which really is something that um, I love to talk to kids about because 
Um, I really believe that. I really believe that diversity in the scientific workforce, um, in the community, in, <laughs> in the government, in you know, bacteria is what really makes that community stronger.